the amount of fire that we had and the location of the fire is what really gave us a problem. Um, we had a, a concealed ceiling that uh, was located throughout the building that the fire itself burnt uh, horizontally and vertically to an extent that when, once we opened it up and ventilated it, uh, we had all the fire that we want, uh, you know, for everybody. But in battling this blaze, the firefighters ran into yet another enemy, an enemy that Chief Bailey says made fighting the fire doubly difficult. In almost every situation, firefighters have to contend with extreme heat. This fire was different, for they had to contend with extreme cold. The first uh, crew of men were, we had to actually pry the gloves off their hands and get them off to put new gloves on the, on the hands. The, the gloves were, were frozen right, you know, right to the skin. originated in a uh, kitchen behind a refrigerator. Uh, we haven't determined what the malfunction in the refrigerator was. It was either a short or a bad compressor or motor or something. Uh, the fire spread from behind the refrigerator down into the floor and the ceiling above the basement. And Duffy and investigators from the state police and the Williamsburg Fire Department finished their work around midday. Now what's left of Jefferson Hall is back in the hands of the college. Cameraman Mike Ridge got these up-close bird's-eye views of just how bad the damage is. College officials are still trying to determine exactly what can be done with the building. But at a morning news conference, they did have some good news, one glimmer of hope. Uh, as for salvage, we have received word that it does appear that at least some of the rooms on the east end of the building uh, may have items in them that are salvageable. Uh, 